Hello, I'm Chef Rudy Smith, and today we're talking about liquid concentrated bases from Knorr. We're going to do a couple of things. We're going to make the base and see how easy it is to make it, and then we're going to use it in application. We're going to make a couple of things with it. As far as preparing the base, it's extremely easy. Because this is a liquid format, it dissolves in water instantly, so you can use it in cold water, warm water, or hot water. It's very easy to make it up. Basically, it's three quarters of a cup per gallon of water, or two teaspoons per cup. So I'm just going to drop this in, give it a quick stir, and there we go. Let's see what this tastes like. Right away I can smell it. It's got the aroma of a fresh made stock, which is wonderful. And that's the whole idea of this base, is the quality of it. It's so much better than a paste base. It has that flavor of a fresh made stock. That's really good. That's really good. It's got a nice chicken flavor. It's rounded with the mirepoix, the vegetable notes. So it's got a really well-rounded, balanced flavor. And it tastes much more like a natural produced stock than, say, a paste base does. Next, what do you do with the base once it's made? Well, obviously, you can use it to cook rice or potatoes or things like that. The number one use is probably for soups. So let's make a chicken vegetable soup today. Very, very easy to do. First thing, we've, we've got all our mise en place ready. We've got some carrots, onions, celery, canned tomatoes, frozen peas. We've got some broccoli and cauliflower. We've got some mushrooms. And then we've got some rotisserie chicken that we just picked off the bone. We simply picked up a chicken at the grocery store and picked the meat off the bone for that. And then I've got some fresh herbs, some fresh basil and chives today, but you could use whatever herbs you want. How do we make the soup? It's very, very simple. We're going to put all the ingredients in the pot. We're going to add enough broth to cover them and give a nice ratio of particulate to broth. We've all had soup before, so we can make those judgments on our own. And simply bring that to a boil, turn it down to a simmer, let it simmer for about 20 minutes. All right, so now our soup's been simmering for about 20 minutes. So we're going to add our fresh herbs to it and stir that up real quick, and we'll dish it up and see how it is. Now there's a fresh chicken vegetable soup made with a liquid concentrated base. How easy was that? Now is that the only thing you can do with it? Absolutely not. Let's think outside the box a little bit. Let's say you're roasting a chicken. What if you took a little bit of the liquid concentrated base, took a pastry brush, brushed it on the chicken before you roast it? Beautiful. You're grilling a steak. You take some of the beef base, take a pastry brush, brush it on the steak before you grill it. Beautiful. It's going to give that pop of flavor, that added flavor. But let's do something really outside the box. Very easy to do. I've got some of my favorite mayonnaise, Hellman's. And I'm simply going to take a little bit of this. and a little bit of the liquid concentrated chicken base. And I'm going to mix that together. Now I'm doing this to taste. There's no particular ratio that I have in mind. When you get the flavor you want, You've got the, the, the chicken flavored mayonnaise. Now what do you do with the chicken flavored mayonnaise, you ask? Well, how about a chicken sandwich? Think how that's gonna make those flavors just burst out. Or a chicken salad made with a chicken flavored mayonnaise. Again, those flavors are gonna pop, it's gonna be intense, it's gonna be wonderful. So that's what you can do with the liquid concentrated base. It's very, very versatile and it's very, very easy. Thanks.